This is an experimental radio setup consisting of a crystal radio documented on my website. Uh, this is a simple tuned circuit with a crystal rectifier. What's unique about this particular setup is the amplifier. This audio amplifier is made from a vacuum fluorescent display. This particular display was removed from a uh, telephone console, but is not unlike the vacuum displays found in uh, microwave ovens, automobile dashboards, and VCRs. In the back are some voltmeters and power supplies used to light the filament and so forth. And here is the plate supply. Right now this setup is feeding the audio input to my computer so that I can record some wave files. But I wanted to demonstrate how the amplitude uh, output of this varies with the plate voltage on the vacuum fluorescent display. At this point, the plate voltage is zero volts. And if we look at the vacuum display, there are no, there's no indication of any lighted segments. If I start moving this upward, there is some evidence of uh, elements lighting. Let me subdue the lighting here. You can be seen there are a few elements lit. And some audio can be heard coming through my computer monitors. Now if I increase the plate voltage further, the volume increases as well. This is about 120 volts of plate voltage. I'll subdue the lighting again. It can be seen that there are more lit elements. I'll bring up the plate voltage just a little more. This particular supply will go up to about 180 volts. Now I'm going to cut back on the plate voltage. I can bring the plate voltage back up and verify that this crystal radio set is the actual source of the audio. Let me show you that. Use the tuning control. And that's it.